Hello everyone, it's Jilly here and I'm back again from quite a long break and this time I have a free printable for you so that you can make these gorgeous stars and stripes paper beads and it's just in time to celebrate July the 4th so you can make some lovely gifts for your friends and family. And you can get the printable that I'm going to use in this tutorial you can get that free of charge over on my website and the link for that will be on the end screen of this tutorial. And the printable is available in both US letter size and UK A4. So all you need to do is download the file and print it off onto glossy photographic paper. And then when you've done that, you need to cut the strips. You can either use a craft knife and a metal ruler as I'm doing here, or you can of course cut them up with scissors. And then once you've done that, you need to take a Sharpie marker or some kind of a black marker, and you need to make sure that you blacken the sides of the strips so that when your beads are rolled, you will have black on both the top and the bottom. And make sure you do both sides and the end. And obviously if you prefer, you could leave the top and bottom of the beads white. It's a personal preference. I always prefer to colour the edges of my paper bead strips, but it is up to you. You can of course colour the ends of the beads after you've rolled them, but I find it is much easier to do it this way. And you can see there when you stack them all together just what a difference it does make. And then I also like to colour the ends of my paper bead strips. The end where you're going to start rolling from. And then I also like to pre-score each end using a paper scorer such as this one from Paper Mania. Now I'm going to use a popsicle stick to roll my beads. This is a method that I, I kind of invented um, oh, ages ago to roll flat beads. And I just find it quicker, it makes my workflow quicker if I score the ends and fold them first. So that when I start to roll them I can just pick the strip up, put the popsicle stick in place and start to roll. And when I'm rolling my flat beads now, I find it much easier um, once I have put the um, solid glue stick on the end. I take a solid block of wood. This is a piece of mahogany that my, my husband had left over from a project. And I find it much easier to roll these flat beads. If I lay the strip on the, a block of wood like this, put the popsicle stick in place, and then I just get hold of both ends of the popsicle stick and just roll it along the wooden block. And that just works really well for me. And there's my first bead. So there's lots of the beads that I have rolled. Obviously it depends on what you're going to make as to how many that you will need. I made a bracelet and a necklace for this video and then what I did, I used that block to flatten the beads because they are sort of quite chunky and they just look better when you flatten them down and I would suggest to put a piece of card on top. See the difference there? just think the, the one that's flattened looks better. So there's a batch that I'm going to use to make my bracelet and I'm now going to show you how I string my beads together. Now initially I used some tiny silver beads to um, just put around the edges of these these uh, stars and stripes paper beads but then I thought 
I would also make one with some tiny black beads and I think that that did look much better in the finished bracelet but again it's up to you it's your personal preference you can put any color beads you want to decorate your bracelet or to put in between the beads when you string them to make a necklace which I will show you next I will show you how you can make a threading hole to thread these so that they will be the right way up and I'll show you that next so this method of stringing that I use is quite straightforward you put your first bead onto a length of elastic I usually use around about I think it was four feet of elastic to, to make sure that I had enough to go in and out of every bead and then once you've got your first bead on in the center of your length of elastic you you then just thread in from opposite sides obviously threading your your beads of choice as you go you can see where I've put the silver ones okay so you just go in the top in the bottom in opposite directions and then keep going when you get to the end you thread the um, the top string down through the bead at the other end if that makes sense and then you tie them off okay so now on to how I made the necklace so I rolled these beads from black card and I'll show you next how I did that and how I fitted the metal cord so I'm cheating here I'm using a template that I made for this purpose so that all of my strips are the same size if you want one of these templates if you get in touch with me I'll tell you how you can get one they're not very expensive then I cut each strip in half because this is card and you don't want big fat beads I used my three millimeter bead rolling tool for this and I score the end to, to make it easier to curl around and stick then I put the prick stick on the end and then of course I roll the bead you don't need a bead tool to do this but it just makes life a lot easier and then when I've done that and let the uh, solid glue dry I then fit a bead core into each end and to do that I put the metal bead core onto a kebab skewer paint some solid glue on the rim and then I stretch the bead the hole in the bead as wide as it can possibly go so that I can fit a bead core one in each end and that just makes them look more professional it makes them more robust and then I use some glossy accents and you can use whatever kind of glaze you've got and I just quickly glazed each bead to give it a bit more strength and make it splash proof just in case you're ever out in the rain in your necklace although I hope it isn't going to rain on July 4th <laughs> and then each one of those needs to be stuck with a glue gun to the top of each paper bead just be careful not to burn your fingers like I did and now they're ready to string and all I did I just used one millimeter round elastic and put a small black metallic bead in between each one and it's as easy as that now I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you all have a wonderful July 4th wherever in the world you are and if you enjoyed this video 
I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. That means that you will get regular updates of all my new videos and usually there is a free printable that goes with every video. And I hope you'll consider giving me a thumbs up and maybe leaving a comment. Once again, thank you very much for watching. It's much appreciated and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye for now and wherever you are, have a wonderful July 4th. Even if you don't celebrate American Independence Day, have a wonderful day anyway. Much love to everyone and bye for now.